Good evening. Now, about two months ago, I posted two videos regarding my thoughts on Ben Shapiro. Now, if you haven't seen them, here they are now. Mug. Yeah, facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Cunt. Now, as I mostly expected, this really brought out the Ben Shapiro fanboys. And there was a, a number of comments that were made on the on the videos. Um, and they're all actually exactly what you would expect from fans of someone like Ben Shapiro. Um, these people think they're, they're so fucking clever. Um, and yet they're entirely predictable every single time. Now, I wasn't going to respond to any of them because I don't believe in feeding the trolls when you're on the internet. But then I've just had an idea about ten minutes ago. I thought, I'll make a video about these comments. Why not? Let me just poke that wasp's nest just a little bit harder and see what happens. Alright, so first comment, first video. Just like yourself, Mug. I mean, all right, okay, I suppose he's going with the old classic Uno reverse card there. You know, the old, I know you are, you said you are, so what am I? I seem to remember a lot of kids doing that when I was about four. But, you know, stick with the old classics. Also notice he's not actually denying that Ben Shapiro's a mug. He's just saying, I am one too. I mean, all right, I suppose he's welcome to call me that if that's what he thinks, but... If he thinks he's coming to coming to Ben Shapiro's aid, he's not really. All right, next one. Lol, I think Hez got better things to say than you. Well, I don't think he has. And also, most of what you wrote there is wrong. Yeah. Spell check. All right, last one on the first video, and then we'll move on to the second video, which is where some of the real nutters come out. Trailer Park Hagrid. Now, let's, let's just divide that up into two parts. First part, Trailer Park. They're not really a thing here in Britain. The closest we would have to what you would call trailer parks, they're kind of more like little retirement villages for people. So, I'm 32. I think it's safe to say that that first bit is factually incorrect. And the second bit, Hagrid. Now, putting aside the fact that he's a fictional character, I grew up reading the Harry Potter books, and I thought Hagrid was a great guy, so thank you. Alright, second video, first comment. You tried two laughing faces. I mean, you're right. I did try to upset some Ben Shapiro fanboys, and I succeeded. Next up, you sound like someone who feels upset, and another laughing face. Well, I don't know what gave you that impression, I'm not upset. I just think he's a cunt, and I was just expressing that in the form of a video on YouTube. Because he is a cunt. Next we have... Weatherman says snowflakes tonight. Now, this is what I mean by these sorts of people, your Ben Shapiro fanboys, are predictable. It, it's like playing fucking fanboy bingo with them. It's like, who's got snowflakes? Who's got attacks on people's appearance? Who's got name calling? Full house! <laughs> That's exactly what it's like with these people. And right on cue, just to perfectly illustrate my point don't know why ben upset him he never spoke of fat ugly people like i said you know they always go for attacks on people's appearance it's like they can't think of a, a decent retort so they just just go after the way people look also fat and ugly it's not what your mum said last night good lord will you be quiet i mean if that's a matter of me stopping talking then no in fact i'm actually making yet another video about the thing that you want me to stop talking about so yeah that's worked out well for you if it's a matter of volume it's normally in the bottom right hand corner of the screen if you want to adjust that 
Ben is Jewish, not British. Okay, then. Maybe next time you want to leave a comment, just have your nurse check it before you hit send. And that's the thing. They don't care about your feeling. Just one feeling. So you saying that doesn't make any difference in the slightest. You're right, whatever I say, he'll still be a cunt. And there's a reply to that one. It's just three smiley faces wearing glasses. Okay. Are we supposed to know what that means? Does that mean that you've you've read it? That you're laughing at the comment whilst wearing glasses? Or do you just want to tell the world that you wear glasses? Because lots of people do. You're nothing special. Maybe communicate with words as well as smiley faces so that we can all understand what's going on inside that head of yours. Next up. Yes, he is. Finally. Someone else who exists within the realms of sanity in this place. All right, last few to go now. He must have been looking in the mirror when he made the video. No, I was looking at the camera. That's not how mirrors work. Next up, what an intelligent young man. That's another one on the Ben Shapiro fanboy bingo. If someone doesn't agree with them, they just... Turn around and call them stupid and dismiss their opinion. Getting a fucking full house this afternoon. This just make you looks dumb. Enough said, really. I love when reality kicks in on you, soft little lib. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Those are definitely all words. Fucking liberal. Bingo! Full house! This man is the epitome of what a female acts like. Therefore, is no man. Tell your mother you said that the next time I'm showing her what a real man is like. And the last one, they don't. Now, you're right. Facts don't care about feelings. Because facts aren't alive. But also, people should care about feelings. And I call Ben Shapiro a cunt. Because, well, mainly because he is one. But this is a man, and there's plenty of people out there, that just go around making a living, basically, on other people's suffering. He goes around, says some things that are designed to just stir the shit you know they they go around and they'll attack trans people and just ignore their chosen pronouns and call it a mental illness why why does he have to behave like that well the reason is if he treated people with respect he'd be irrelevant yeah people like ben shapiro they're not big they're not clever all they're doing is being edgy and controversial on purpose because it makes people watch their videos. It makes the fanboys come out of the woodwork and cheer him on. You know, he basically makes a living out of being a cunt. And there's plenty of people like him. Katie Hopkins being one. You know, and that, that's just it. Yes, facts, data, science, it doesn't care about feelings, but people should. And I think he he understands the damage he's doing. And he understands what he's saying is hurtful to people. And the truth is, he hides behind this facts don't care about your feelings thing. <laughs> Because he doesn't care. He's only happy when he's upsetting people. Because he knows that people will cheer him on for it. And that's how he makes his living. And it's quite sad, really. So, yeah. He's a cunt. And people say, I'm getting upset with him. No, I'm not upset with him. I'm not even really angry. I look at people like that. And I feel sorry for them, really.